Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to go through string explosion in warm up 2 in the Java section. Alright, given a non empty string like code, return a string like this. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what that means. And what I've done is I pasted the first example here, and I'm going to break it up for you. So you probably already see this, but what it's doing is taking the first letter plus the first two letters plus the first three letters, plus the whole string. And what this kind of suggests to me is that a loop is probably needed here. And it's because I can see that there's a pattern going on. So if we think about this in terms of the substring, what are we doing in each case? Well, this case is doing substring from 0 to 1. I need some space here because I'm getting the C, and that's going to be 0 to 1, because 1 minus 0 is 1. Well, this is being the substring from 0, comma 2. Again, the second thing we add is a length 2. So here, pull this back, there we go. We see 0, 2. And the third one, this is going to be a substring from 0, comma 3. Are you starting to see a pattern here? And the last one is going to be 0, comma 4. So what I have here is if I can pull out each of these and add them together using string construction, I can then just return the value. So I need to see a pattern, and the pattern is right there. One, two, three, four. Now what I have to ask myself is, what does this look like in general? And let me show you what I mean by that. If I make a string and I call it result, and I make it an empty string, and let's just write a loop that's going to count from 0 to 4. So 4 and i equals 0, i is less than 5, i is equal to i plus 1, and I'm going to say result is equal to result plus str.substring, and it's always going to go from 0 to i. And then what I would do is I return result, and we hit go, and I've forgotten a semicolon, hit go, and hopefully we see some of these cases work. I get some index out of bounds errors. I get the others that don't work. And the reason is because what I've done here is I've coded this out for a concrete example. So what I have to do is I have to figure out how to change this so that it works for any case. So the question is, how do I relate this to the length of the string? Well, code, is, code has a length of 4. So 5 is 1 greater than 4, so I'm going to say str.length plus 1. And I hit go, and there it is. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know.